Hi, this is Allie with The Perception Trainers, author of The Perception Diet, and today I'm here to talk to you about the real reason why you can't lose weight, part one. So, um, to begin this video, I want to start by saying that if you are struggling with losing weight, if you are struggling with um, learning to love and accept your body, if you're struggling with really hating what your body looks like right now, or really um, struggling with like f food and like wanting to eat healthy or wanting to eat well and then you know constantly struggling with like food addiction or anything like that um, or like yo-yo dieting all of that stuff I just want to say first and foremost that I totally get where you're coming from okay I get the struggle I get how hard it is to to live your days feeling not well to live your days feeling not comfortable in your own skin to live your days f battling with food and battling with your body and 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 I get how um, people can downplay it like it's not that big of a deal and but how big of a deal it can feel and so just to start with that I just want to say like I get I get it and I get how hard it is and I get how confusing it is and I get how frustrating it is and I get how defeating it can feel and how hopeless it can feel and that is really the reason why I want to make these videos um, is because there is a way out and there is a way where you can find what you're looking for that peace inside your own body that peace with food that maybe even love affair with your body and with food in a healthy way that serves your life as opposed to hinders it so that's why I want to make these videos and that's why I feel I have the authority to make these videos like A because I've been through it myself and B because I've worked with lots of people who have been through it and so I know what it feels like and I know that there are tools and there are things that you can do to move yourself through feeling like that so you can come out the other side feeling good okay so that's where we're gonna start so if you have been struggling to lose weight, if you've been struggling with your body, if you've been struggling with food, if you've been struggling with all those things I just mentioned, um, the very first thing that I want to say, the very first reason why you can't lose weight and why everything that you're doing isn't working and even though you're doing the perfect diet and the perfect exercise and sleeping and doing everything you're supposed to do and your body's still not cooperating, number one thing you need to understand is this. You cannot hate your way into something that you love, okay? You can't hate your body into something that you're going to love. This is the bottom line. Hate will never get you where you want to go, okay? Because at the end of the day, you want to lose weight, you want to be thin, you want to eat a healthy diet, you want to be toned, you want to be fit, blah, 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 because you've told yourself that you will be lovable when those things happen, that your body will be acceptable when those things happen. And until those things happen, your body is not lovable, your body is not acceptable, and you are not lovable, and you are not acceptable. And so if that concept is a new concept for you, if the idea that um, withholding your own love from yourself until you're thin, fit, or whatever it is that you want to be, um, sounds funny, like that doesn't make any sense, like of course, you can't love your body until it's thin, that's how everybody is, or, or you don't think that has anything to do with your level of self-love, I just want you to take a moment and reflect on that. I just want you to take a moment and sit with that and think that maybe you are withholding your own love and your own acceptance of yourself and of your body until you have reached this idealized version of what your body needs to look like. And um, for most people, again, like that's this is a kind of like an unconscious subconscious decision we've made that like I said it's kind of ruling our lives without us even knowing about it so if you do wake up in the morning and you know you kinda you don't want to get dressed because you don't like how your clothes look you struggle with you know feeling uncomfortable in your skin all day you you struggle with should I eat this, should I eat that, I want to eat this thing, but this is going to make me thin, or this is going to make me fit, or this is going to make me healthy, and I don't want to eat that, but I want to eat that, and I want to be this healthy person, but I'm not, and you beat yourself up for it, then 
you're withholding your own love. And and again, if you're waiting until you're the perfect size, till you'll buy your new outfit, or till you feel like you're worthy of dating, or till you feel like you're worthy of loving yourself, then again, you're withholding your own love, and you're using hate as a tool to try and get you where you want to go. And and I want to just say that you know what, like. Bottom line, it doesn't work. It never has worked and it never will work. You may be able to hate your way into a into an idealized version of your body for a little while, but you won't be able to maintain it. You can definitely hate your way and like, you know, starve your way or, you know, kill yourself at the gym into the body of your desires, but once you get there, maintaining that is gonna be impossible with that mindset because there's no way that you can continue to torture yourself and do things that aren't pleasurable um, in order to maintain a result. It doesn't matter what kind of result you get unless the benefit of it is outweighing the negative, which for most people it doesn't. When you don't like your workout routine, when you don't like your diet, when you don't like whatever it is you're doing, again, when you're using hate to fuel your path here, you, you won't be able to maintain it because it's going to be too painful, it's going to be too hard. And that's not because you have flawed character, that's not because you have weak will, that's not because you're not um, put together enough or whatever to maintain a healthy diet or maintain a workout routine or whatever, it's just because hate doesn't work as a motivator. And it doesn't work long term as a motivator, okay? So this is, again, something I just really want you to like take some time with, really understand that you cannot hate your body into something that you love. You cannot use hate as the motivator. You cannot use the I'm not good enough and I will be perfect when or I will love myself when or I will be good enough when in order to get yourself where you want to go. Because, and, and again, the world teaches us that that is how we get where we want to go. We really think that if we're not, you know, using discipline and hating ourselves and beating ourselves up for other things that we've done and, you know, pointing out all our flaws in the mirror when we look at them or, yeah, like beating ourselves up for eating foods we shouldn't have eaten or skipping a workout or blah, 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 blah. We really think that if we let that stuff go, if we were to come from a place of love and acceptance and giving ourselves what we need in the moment, we, I think we, most of us, have a fear that that's going to turn us into like fat, lazy slobs that never do anything. And so that's kind of like the two-edged sword of this, this thing is that, you know, for most of us, we're walking around trying to hate our bodies into something that we love. We're trying to use hate, we're trying to use, you know, um, did all the things that we dislike, pointing at all the things that are wrong with us and all the things we're not happy with as a way of getting us to where we want to go, which would be thin, healthy, happy, all of these things, which really we have just decided those are the things that are going to make us worthy of love, just so that you understand that. The reason you want to be thin, the reason you want to be fit, the reason you want to have this healthy body is because you've told yourself that, that, that this is going to make you worthy, that this is going to make you acceptable, that this is going to make you lovable. And if you don't have those things, if you aren't those things, then you aren't worthy of love and you aren't worthy of acceptance. And so we think that we need to beat ourselves into this place so that we could then be worthy of love, which is the thing that we want. And we think that if we're not beating ourselves up and if we're not being harsh with ourselves and we're not, you know, doing all of this stuff, that then we're just going to be um, giving up and we're going to be apathetic and we're just going to sit in our, you know, fat, unfit bodies forever and never deal with it. And so if this is you, if any of this is ringing true, that you can't hate your way to where you want to go, but you're afraid to let go of the hate because you think it's going to make you lazy, what I want to say is this. Loving your way to a body you love is the only way to do it. It's the only way that you'll get there, and it's the only way that you'll get there permanently. You have to start from a place of love. So that might sound completely impossible. Starting, like, I understand. If you feel like me saying to you, you need to love the body that you're in right now, Sounds like, yeah, okay, and I'll just also just manifest a million dollars and become, you know, <laughs> president of the world. Um, if that sounds, if it sounds that crazy to you, I also understand that because I used to, I used to hate my body too. 
I used to absolutely think that there was no way that I could love or accept my body until I lost 10, 20, 30, 50, whatever pounds and until I was this jean size, until I was this whatever, there was always the carrot, you know, the carrot at the end of the stick, at the end of the rope in front of my face. And there was never going to be a good enough. And so this is the thing that I just want you to reflect on for a moment. If you've been dealing with this for a while, and you've been wanting to lose weight for a while, and you've been struggling, and blah, 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 I just want you to think back and reflect on, has hating yourself ever really worked? And the thing is, if you're watching this video and wanting to lose weight, obviously it didn't work. It hasn't worked. It's not working. Otherwise, you wouldn't be watching this video. You'd be in the body that you wanted, okay? And the second thing I want you to reflect on is, is there ever going to be a good enough? Is there ever going to be you in a physical body where it's good enough? Is there ever going to be a low enough number on the scale? Is there ever going to be a small enough jean size? Is there ever going to be... Um, a low enough body fat percentage, a perfect athletic score, a excellent diet, is there ever going to be a point where you're going to get there and you're going to say that you've arrived? And I want you to just really reflect on that because for most of us, I think that we're on this like train, we're on this track, we're on this thing that we're never actually sitting and stopping and reflecting and we're never actually saying, okay, Maybe this self-hate thing isn't working. I've done it over and over and over again for years and years and years, and I'm still at this place where I don't like where I am, so maybe this isn't working. And we never look back and say, okay, I thought I was going to be happy when I lost 20 pounds. When I lost 20 pounds, I wasn't happy. I thought I was going to be happy when I was at this percentage of body fat, and when I got there, I still wasn't happy. There was always a new goal. There was always a new thing that I needed to achieve, and I just want you to stop and think that maybe what I'm saying totally applies to your life. You can't hate your way to where you want to go. Beating yourself up is never going to work. And there's never going to be a place where you get where you're going to say that it's good enough. So what do we do instead? Well, we have to start with love. We have to start with loving our body. So after you've just kind of considered maybe the hating isn't working, and maybe the beating yourself up actually doesn't get you where you want to go, and maybe there isn't actually a level at which you're going to be happy with yourself anyways, what if you just decided you were going to start asking yourself, what would I be doing right now? What would I be thinking right now? What would I be eating right now? What would I be believing right now if I already had the body that I wanted? Okay, so just use that as a little tool for the next couple of days where you just sit and ponder what would I be doing right now if I was already in the body that I wanted? If I didn't need to change it, if it was already at the weight that I wanted it to be, it was already at the idealized version I have in my head, I'm worthy of love now, I'm worthy of acceptance, I'm in this body that I've deemed perfect, or in these you know physical results that I've deemed perfect, whatever they are for you, what would I be doing? What would I be thinking? What would I be eating? And just practice thinking about that. Just practice being in that state of, what if I already loved myself? Then what? And, and I just want you to practice that. And we'll talk about this more in the next video. But until now, just to sum up, you can't hate your way into the body that you love. And the thing is, you already know this. <laughs> You've already experienced this. And you just need to, maybe you just need to reflect on it and be a little bit honest with yourself about how hating yourself hasn't worked so far. Beating yourself up, and getting yourself is not the, the tool that you're going to use to get where you want to go. To stop beating yourself up doesn't mean you're going to turn into a fat, lazy slob that never does anything about it. And what would you be doing if you already loved yourself? If you already loved your body? If you were already good enough in your own eyes? Okay? If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down below. And I will see you in the next video.